All right, I want you to listen to this. This stacker reveals that he bought this monster box of silver 10 years ago. Are you doing the math? Are you, are you calculating in your mind? You should. 10 years ago, check out this math. 10 years ago, the average spot price of silver was $24. Do you know what the spot price of silver is today? $24. That's a full decade he held that monster box, an entire decade, and he has nothing to show for it. Now that comes from a YouTube channel named Pound of Gold. <laughs> okay, let's get into this. Silver Joker here. Okay, so I chose this particular video because it illustrates the point I made in my last video perfectly. All right, so here's some context for the clip you just saw. So Pound of Gold saw a video where a guy brought a monster box of American Silver Eagles to a pawn shop that he purchased uh, 10 years ago. He says the seller paid around $23 an ounce for the silver he bought 10 years ago and sold it to the pawn shop for around $23 an ounce. He used spot price to make his point, so that's what we're gonna use. This is still gonna make sense, so just stick with me. While you're here, I'd like to ask you to do me a small favor. If you will, just scroll down to that thumbs up and hit that thumbs up. What that does, is it lets YouTube know that you are receptive to the content that you're viewing. So YouTube puts this video where more people can see it. It's a small task for you, but it means so much to my channel. And when you've watched as much of this video as you like, and you think you want to see more, then go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell, and YouTube will notify you as soon as I post another video, which is coming very shortly. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so this particular YouTuber argues that because this seller bought 500 ounces of physical silver in the year 2014, and chose to sell those ounces 10 years later in 2024 for around the same price that the seller got no gain at all from his purchase. That basically it was a flat purchase. He would have been better off if he'd have just kept his cash instead of buying physical silver. Okay, so to him, the YouTuber, that basically proves that physical silver is not a good hedge against inflation. Okay, so here's some of the flaws in that channel's argument. Okay, so you can't, look at silver's price as one single point in time that moves to another single point in time and then consider that that's the story of silver. By comparing one single spot price in time to another single spot price in time, as if there's nothing in between, is a flawed way to look at silver, silver's price action. And here's why. Okay, so let's say we look at the years that pound of gold reference here in his video. All right, so he referenced a 10 year span between 2014 and 2024. So in 2014, the year high spot price was 2205. And for 2024, the year high price was $23.79. Okay, so there's a little bit of a difference in price, but I can see his point. I can see his argument. And we'll come back to his math a little bit later because there's a little bit of a discrepancy there in his math, but then we'll come back to that. So his thesis is, if silver's price didn't outpace inflation for 10 years of stacking and holding, then how could it be a good hedge against inflation? Well, on the surface, he makes a good point. However, <laughs> let's look at the years 2000 to 2010. Now that's another 10 year span. So in the year 2000, silver's year high price was $5.45. Now that's a great time to stack physical silver in my opinion. 
And 10 years later, in 2010, the year high price for silver was $30.70. Now who could argue against silver's inflation protection with those numbers? That alone nullifies his argument, but that's not the story of physical silver. You know, this seller bought his silver in 2014 and sold it in 2024 to a pawn shop. Now, if we did dismiss the fact that his 500 ounces were American silver eagles, which I know <laughs> would be hard to do for many of us, you know, long-term stackers, and that he sold them to a pawn shop. Wait a minute. Let me let me stop real quick. Look, I don't have a problem with pawn shops in general. They serve a purpose in the community for emergency cash in a pinch. I know that. But a pawn shop would not be my first choice for selling my bullion. You know, and I'll just, that's all I'll say about that. Okay, so look at the years between 2014 and 2024. You know, there were a number of years where this particular seller could have sold his silver for more than what he paid in 2014. Just look, for example, at, 20, at the year 2021, silver was 2942. And then in 2020, silver was 2026. So he could have sold his silver during any of those years and made more than what he paid for them. Now look, I understand that there may be times when you know we, we have to sell some of our physical silver for whatever the price is at the time. I mean, it happens. But under normal circumstances, you get to choose when you sell and how much you're willing to accept. That's the beauty of long-term stacking. And I, for me, I don't really understand why that's such a hard concept for a lot of silver stackers to understand. Just because spot price is $23 doesn't mean that your physical silver is valued at that price. That's the price only if you sell at that time. It doesn't matter what spot price is if you're not selling. It doesn't matter what the price is online or in your local coin store or even at a pawn shop. It doesn't matter what they're buying or selling silver for at that time if you're not selling your physical silver. It doesn't matter what that price is. That's not the price of your physical silver. The price of physical silver at any given time is gonna change. You can't take a snapshot in time and compare that to another single snapshot in time and consider that the price of your physical silver. That's just not the way that works. You have plenty of things going on between those two points in time. Those things, some of them are advantageous to physical silver stackers and some are a little bit, you know, not to our advantage. But that's just the reality of life and the reality of silver. But by continuing to stack, steadily building your stack, ounce by ounce, year after year, you get to take advantage of silver's price action wherever it goes. For an example, I have silver in my stack that I, if I were to sell it today, I would absolutely have a hedge. It would absolutely be a hedge. You know, and I'm not alone in having silver bullion that I bought for less, far less than what I could sell it for today. Now, I just want to make something clear here. I'm not trying to put pound of gold. I'm not trying to put that channel down or call anyone out. I'm simply pointing out some of the misconceptions that are widely accepted in our silver stocking community. I say this in nearly all of my videos. Physical silver stacking is not for everyone. If you don't take the time to educate yourself about the reality of physical silver and make a gut level honest appraisal of your ability to stack, your discipline level, your patience, the amount of money that you have that you can put into physical silver, all those things have got to come from you and they have to be completely honest. You have to be 100% sure of what you can possibly do with buying physical silver. I mean, I hate to be blunt, <laughs> but the only thing physical silver stacking promises a stacker is that it will always have value. It's up to you, the stacker, to educate yourself 
on what that value is for you personally and how you can use that value. And here's a little hint. <laughs> it's not always how much it costs you to get it. Okay, so I told you we were gonna come back to the pound of goals calculations. Here's math when he, cause these are the numbers that he presented. These are the numbers that he put out there in his video. So I'm only going by his own numbers. And if you consider that he was using spot price for generic silver, even though they were Eagles. And if you do the math from 2014 to 2024, spot price in 2014 was 2205. And when he sold them in 2024, um, we don't know exactly the precise time, but we do know that he was paid $22.90 per ounce for them. And when you watch the video, you'll see how you can figure that out. So that's 85 cents per ounce more than what he paid according to this video. 85 cents times 500 ounces equals $425. And that's what silver does. It's a slow grind process that offers you opportunity to benefit from having stacked it. That's the only promise silver makes. It doesn't promise that it's gonna return you a profit. It doesn't promise that it's gonna be a form of active income. It's more savings. But that's all it promises you, that it's gonna be there when you need it and it's gonna have value. You personally, through your own research and doing your own personal self-appraisal, you get to decide when you're gonna utilize that value and how. It's provided it's there. It just takes patience and it takes discipline, like everything else in life that's worth anything to you. You've got to be in the long game. You've got to know when to purchase heavy and when to hold back a bit. You know, some people will never get this about physical silver. I see those videos all the time. I see a lot of videos where the mistakes that the person speaking is making is so obvious. Uh, and I just would like to just talk to them. I believe it's the comparison that people try to make with other forms of investing. Physical silver doesn't work quite the same. There are some similarities, you know, in, in that buying low and selling high, you know, that could loosely apply uh, in my opinion. But because long-term, Stacking is a long-term endeavor. It doesn't quite fit the definition of arbitrage, which is basically what buying low and selling high is. And that's the square peg that so many silver stackers on YouTube try to shove into that round hole. That's just not the way silver works and it's never gonna work that way. As much as you want silver to be what you want it to be, it's gonna be what it is. So if you don't understand what silver is really for, then you're going to be frustrated. You know, silver is a great hedge against the effects of future inflation, but you've got to understand how it works. I mean, if, it, if you figure it's worth it for you, then take the time to understand it. Okay, so I'm going to try to help you with that as best I can. I appreciate all the comments, so you guys keep them coming. If I don't respond to every comment, I will at least put a heart on it, letting you know that I read it and I appreciate it. And I even read the negative ones. I get a lot of them, you know, unless they're personally attacking me or some other person in the comments, I usually leave them. You know, it's all right with me. We're all going to differ in our opinions. That doesn't mean that I'm wrong and you're right. Doesn't mean that I'm right and you're wrong. We just have different opinions. But if you want to educate me on something, which I definitely need and always accept, then by all means, I'm all ears. And that's all I ask. That's fair. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys stopping by. More good content coming up. Keep stacking. Peace.